getting in my kayak here. It's kind of overcast. It rained this morning. And I got, eh, it's probably 11.30, 11.45, something like that. I had to mow my whole yard and it's like acres of ground, so on a tractor and do some push mowing. Um, I got three, four hours unless it comes up a dandy. I'll show you the sky here in a minute. Later. See, the sky's looking pretty dreary today, but at least it won't be real hot. I'd say it's 65, 60, 65 degrees, so that'll be perfect for digging. I'll get back. I'm going up to where I've been looking. It's getting picked over, but that last spot I left off in my last video, it seemed good, so I'm going there. Later. All right, well, there's no wind today, so I'll be able to go across the river. The last couple trips up here, the wind was blowing so hard up the river, I had to row back to the car or the truck into the wind and it just if i let off the row and it just would push me back five ten yards in just a few seconds it was rough um and out in the middle right out in the middle there's usually white caps and they'll swamp your boot it's it can get rough when the weather's acting up it can the white caps can get enough to flip your boat over um but i'll get back up here i might go across the river I did the first, well, the second day I came up here, and there's sites over there too, so just as good it looks like is over here. So we, I haven't even begun to delve into it over there. Later. All right, I'm pulled up here right up there, like, I don't know, 15 yards is where I found that bird point and that knife and stuff at the end of my last video. But you can see why this is good. Look how high these banks are. They're cut straight up all down through here on this shoreline. And everything in that layer of time is falling out and hitting this beach. And you can see there's beach. Some of this stuff washed out. The water came up a little bit since I've been here in the last 48 hours and washed a little bit of this stuff out. So you can see beach and there'll be fire rock down on the beach clay. Um, if I'd clean some of this stuff out, these logs, this would be a perfect place to mow detect. The targets would be not very deep, and right in the sand that have come right out of everything would be laying right here. I'll get back on my first screen that I have stuff in. We'll see what's here. Later. The test screen right here, getting out of the boat, and right there's a pitted stain. It's one where it's been pecked out. That's the start of one right there. Nothing in that side, and a flake of black. It looks like black canola. I don't see anything else. This is two shovelfuls of dirt. And right there's another flake. Two flakes and two shovelfuls of dirt. And a crude artifact. Lay that. This looks excellent. See all this cracked up fired rock in here? You want to look at all this stuff before you start sifting. See there's an old piece of ceramic. This is right in where I found them points. All this rock's Indian. And there's flint all through it right in here. I'm in a good spot. Look at this. Base clay right here, the stuff's just, I'm down to it. This is a place where it's gonna be good. I should find something later. It didn't take long. I see a point sticking out. This is, this is probably the fifth screen in here. It's right where I found that bird point. There's a piece of rubbed hematite. There's a piece of a salt glaze croc. That's the bottom. That would be the bottom of it. That's the inside bottom. Another piece of that blue stuff. But let's see. Let me get this around here. You see it? Right here. Oh, it's nice. Wow. Look at that. It's made on a flake. Look at the curve to it. That is a nice point. Real ground base. It almost looks like a fish beer, but it's too thin. Um, I'll have to look at it more. Matanzas, maybe? I don't know. That is a nice point. That's a daymaker already. That'll look great in the frame, that's for sure. I'll look through the rest of this. I'm gonna go put this in the base. That's a beauty. Real nicely made. Wow, all right. Within the first 25 minutes, later. All right, after looking at this, it kind of has that Matanzas look to it. That point type's found in Ohio, um, clear into Illinois, but 
I don't think it is. It's kind of got a fish beer look to it too, but it didn't have that thick cross section like a classic fish beer. And I found that burrt and side notch in there. I would say this is a burrt and side notch, which would be, you know, middleware cake, five to 6,000 years old. It's nice material, it's lightening up. It's like, almost like Onondaga. It's got white in it there, gray and black spots. And it's just made like on a flake. Look at the spots coming out now on that. You couldn't really see that because it was stained up. They lighten up when they're laying in that muck. Look at them black spots. Real ground notches, real ground base. So that's a good find. I like that. Later. Take you off here. Not much in the screen, but look at this. Look at that flint ridge. Pink with crystals in it. And then it's got the blue right here, bluish gray. Man, that's pretty stuff. Seem a nice, like, hoop or a little bird point ain't made out of that. I might find one. I did it. You might be able to see this. I just found a huge blade. Oh, man. And I just, I'll put it down on it. I just got this. You know, this is roughed up right in here. You can hardly tell. But that's the start of a pitted stain. But man, here's a day maker. I've not even been here an hour, folks, and look at the purple glass. It's hard to tell what else. I need to mow detect here. It's just, I like, the artifacts don't even compare to this kind of stuff. You see it? Man, folks, man. I'll go down on it. Now do you see it? Should be about right in the center of the screen. Pow! Look at that. That ain't bad. That's pretty nice. That's a knife. You can see up in here where it's been used and sharpened. I'd say it was hafted. Maybe not, but it's that green. There's no sun today, but that'll have a little translucency around the edges. That's pretty nice. Second piece, you know, not even an hour. I was right to come here. All right. You know, that's probably an archaic piece. At other points, an archaic piece is thousands of years old. Probably five, six thousand at least. Nice. Later. Well, here's this knife. It's pretty nice. It's pretty big, too. You can see it's four fingers long there. So, it's a blade. And I'll show you in a light source. It's translucent around the edges, like I said. This, this is like a river cobble chert that's green. There's all different qualities of it, but that's a pretty nice looking find, huh? Pretty nice. It's just a knife, I would call that, or a blade. Later. All right, I wanted to show you this real quick. See the translucency around the edges? Kind of glaze like a golden color. That's pretty nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed so far. Later. This is the stuff I picked out of the screen. There's another chunk of flint there. These flakes. See all these, there's a piece of Indian pottery, this. I don't know what, the, it's a thick piece. It's been tumbled and rounded. But these are all flakes, and look at that piece of pottery. It has some kind of design on it. That's like white man stuff, probably 1880, 1890. But I wanted to show you this. See this real hunter green with the red on it? That's jasper. Find a big point made out of that. Imagine that, green with red. Looks like Christmas. I've found them before, but that, man, that stuff's awesome. The higher river, Jasper, it's pebble Jasper. Comes out of pebbles and like gravel in the river. That stuff's beautiful, look at it. Well, I'll get back, this place is, I'm doing all right. See you this real quick in this screen, see it? Metal item, can't get away from them things even on the river, that's an old peeper shotgun shell. Huh, looking around up here. And look at this rock. There's a nutting stone hole there. That's a big one. And another one right there. That's a big nutting stone. See all the fired rock in here? Find that stuff right below this, right there in the water. I was looking to see if I saw anything laying out. It's still kind of grown up. But see the fired rock right there? There's another piece and more. It's coming right out of this. Every time there's erosion. Look at that erosion here. There's probably stuff laying in here. It's just hard to get to it clear up here.
And I see a point that looks pretty nice. It's got a, oh man. The reason my back gets sore, you need something to set your screens on so you're not bent over all the time. But look, I haven't even flitted the stuff off and I saw a point. See it? Man, I'm doing good. Right here. Man, that's nice. That's a nice little point. It's almost got a drill tip on it. Ground base. It's been sharpened in there, but that is nice. It's all there. Wow. Man. Man. I'll probably start another video after the new find. If I can make two in a day, believe me, I'll do it. That's nice. Look good in one of my frames. That's an arcade point for sure. I don't know really what to call it, but it's, you know, five, six thousand years old anyway. Lay it out. This is a pretty nice little point too. And the first one I found, see how it's kind of got the side notches on it, but it's been sharpened like into a tool tip. Um, I would say this is just a burnt and side notch as well. It just, you know, is a little bit different sharp resharpening on it. But that's a nice looking find too. Can't beat that. Ground notches and base. I'd say this is five to six thousand years old too. Decent find. Later. All right. I'll get the rest of this sifted down here in a second. I'm just kind of taking a break and letting my back recover. I've been hammering it hard. You can see I've sifted all of that. There were several nice pieces in there. I'm getting it work down now. I'll have to move on, come back, you know, after the next high water. A couple of them, this will be relayered again, and I'll be able to come back and find more stuff later. You know, look how purple that glass is. That's a cork top, too. Man, that's a shame that's broke. Later. All right, since I've already got a video here, I'm getting that work down. And it's my back starting to get sore. I'm gonna row across the river. I found some places over there. There's mirror sites on both sides. Um, so I'm gonna get start a new video and whatever I find over there will be in the next one. So if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. I do this a lot whenever the weather's permitting. Most of the time I just go when it's raining and stuff. I love it. Um, hopefully I can get a new another video over there. And after this, We'll get him and check on Squirrel Man. We'll get see how he's doing. He was doing real good this morning. He woke me up early, climbing all over his cage. Lay down. Look here. You can see him kicking his back legs. It had bubbles in it. I let the bubbles all go down. And some antibacterial soup. Tell him, Squirrel Man, you're getting all cleaned up. I'll put some more cool in. Is that too warm? I just put warm water in. He's doing his rehab. Look here. You know, there's the bar of antibacterial soap. Tell him you're getting all cleaned up. With soap and everything. I have to clean him good because he's still not walking great, but he's doing way better. How could he, you know, he's got it made. He gets to eat all kinds of good food, way better than he would outside. Plus he has his own indoor, indoor Olympic sized swimming pool. <laughs> Look at him, he's got his indoor pool. What? You can stand up back there, you dummy. But you like the swimming. You're all right, do another couple laps. I'll make him do like 25 laps a few times a day. And it makes his back legs stronger. He's doing much better. Come on, let's do another one here. He's got to get it. See, his back legs are moving good. He's moving them both. So all he has to do is get stronger. And it'll take a few months for the calcium to build up. You're all right. You look like an otter in there. It's the otter. What? What a good boy, folks. A few more. We're going to get you built up. We're going to get your strength built up, big man. 
What a dandy. Look here. How the bathtub wants to get snuggled up in his towel. Tell him, squirrel buddy. You like the ear rubs? You like to snuggle up when you get out of the bathtub. Tell him you was in your Olympic size swimming pool. Your indoor one. What a good boy. Did good. Look at him. What a nice little guy. Tell him you're a nice boy. You're going to go get a grape and go in your priority mailbox and get snuggled up. In the blanket Kathy Ware made you. Tell him, squirrel buddy. He's a good boy. I'm glad he's recovering. He's such a nice little animal. Tell him you're smart as a cat. Easy. Probably smarter. Alright folks, later.